Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new League of Myths episode, this one featuring Echo. If you have a cool Echo myth that I do not cover in this video, submit it down below. But as usual, if you end up enjoying this one, don't forget to hit the like button. And going into the first myth that I'm sure all of you are wondering, how does the enemy team see your ultimate's ghost following you? So this one was actually a little tricky to test because we all know how it should act. I mean, Riot stated that if the opponents don't see you, then they shouldn't see your passive either of the ultimate. So from what we've tested, if I see the echo go inside the bush and I have vision of them going in the bush, then the ultimate's passive that follows them around goes within that bush as well and it makes it very obvious. As you see in these three examples just now. But what if the echo goes inside a bush without me seeing him? Well, this is what we're testing in this example right here. And as he goes into the fog of war, he walks in the bush and as I try to get some vision on him I actually do not see the ghost going in the bush with him even though my friend did tell me that I was more or less standing right on top of his ghost but when we test the champion flashing over a wall this example looks very odd as you see the ghost kind of blink across towards the echo as he flashed over the wall which is a little strange if the opponent tried to make a flash juke play by faking to go over the wall but instead flash the opposite way and into a bush exactly as you see in this example right here but in this example echo flash in the bush and you don't see the ghost following him in to that bush. But based on the previous example, if he went over the wall, that might have given away his position. Overall, the ghost following Echo seems a little buggy. But the next myth is asking, can an Echo ultimate dodge something like a Vine, Nautilus, Caitlyn, Nocturne, Karthus, or Fiora ultimate? So first we'll test it off with Vi ultimate and as I prepare for it and try to space myself between myself and my ultimate's ghost as far as I can, the Vi pops her ultimate on me, I use my own ultimate and it completely cancels her out. But what we ended up learning from these tests is that if you use the ultimate just as it's about to hit you, you'll completely cancel it. However, on the flip side, if you use Echo's ultimate too quickly, something like a Nautilus ultimate will still follow you across as you finally reappear. So you want to time these ultimates as it's about to hit you. And more or less the same thing happens with Nocturne's ultimate because it does act very similarly to how Nautilus's and Vi's ultimate act. If you use it as it's about to hit you, bam, you see right here, I dodge the damage and he doesn't follow me. But if I use my Echo ultimate somewhat prematurely, the Nocturne will still end up following me to my new destination. So be careful. And next up we have Caitlyn, where it shouldn't really matter how you time it as long as you do it as the bullet is flying at you and you completely negate it. And then we have Karthus, where Echo is also able to dodge his ultimate, all you have to do is time it just as Karthus ult is about to do his damage. And the last champion we tested out for this myth specifically is going to be Fiora, where as she ults me, I use my ultimate to go back to my location, the damage is negated, but as I appear she follows me and still deals a few ticks of damage. But if the distance between myself and my ultimate's ghost is very, very far away, such as across the map, then she won't follow me. And moving on to the next myth, will Echo's W still proc the shield and or stun if he is within Zhonya's state as the W is coming down? So being in the Zhonya state makes it almost seem like you're not really there since nothing can touch you or target you. And since Echo's W requires him to be within the circle as it comes down to proc it, will him being in a Zhonya state still activate the ability? And as you see here, the answer is actually yes, he still stuns the targets and he still gets the shield. Here's one I'm sure a lot of people want to know because I get so many questions about it. Can Echo back to base, buy an item, get home guard effects, and then ulti back to where he was initially? So back when I was playing Echo on my stream, this is something people would ask me to do almost every single game, and here it is finally done in a myth. And I think this is pretty cool, especially if you have Baron buff, you can make use of this within a fight quite well. So you see me here chilling in the enemy's base, I back to my own base, buy an item, get my home guard effects, and then I press ultimate, and I instantly teleport back to where I was backing initially from in the enemy team's base, and evidently you can see that the home guard effects were definitely on me. It's almost like a free teleport summoner spell. Moving on to the next myth, what is the interaction with Zed and Echo ultimate? Here's another one that a lot of people ask me about. First things first, if the death mark is on me and then about a second after that I use my ultimate to go quote unquote back in time, it will not remove the death mark. However, the cool thing is that you can still negate the damage. All you must do is time your echo ultimate as the death mark is about to explode and deal its damage and you see right there with the text it said invulnerable, meaning that the damage is not applied since I'm invincible slash invulnerable when I cast my ultimate. But Echo can counter Zed's ultimate another way as well. This time you have to use your ultimate as Zed is applying his ultimate on you initially, not as it's about to explode. But you'll see exactly what I mean in this clip. As I walk towards the Zed, he's gonna end up pressing R on me, start applying his death mark, and as I slow it down you see that I use my ultimate as he's still flying towards me. It does not apply because I am untargetable for a split second, but Zed still follows me. The next myth submitted by Mojo Mojo, what happens if two Echoes mark their passive on the same target? 
So back when I tested this similar concept with Vayne's W or Vi's W, it was extremely buggy. But testing it out with Echo, it seems like the Echoes actually stack each other's passive. Which is a little strange because they pretty much help each other get the 3 stacks. If the enemy Echo attacks once, then I attack once, and then the enemy Echo attacks the third time, he'll get the proc on the target, and of course get the bonus damage. Somewhat of a strange interaction, but I'm almost positive it is intended to be like this. But what if the Echoes have different skins since the color of the passive is different? Well, you can see in this example right here, whichever echo attacks last is the color of the passive on their target. So in this case, when the enemy echo attacks it, it becomes blue, the passive, but when I attack it as the yellow echo, it becomes yellow, and so on and so forth. However, if the enemy echo were to proc his passive on the scuttle crab in this case, that does not make my passive on the same target go on cooldown, I can still proc mine right after if I so choose. So with LCS finally back up and running, make sure to draft your fantasy teams over on Alpha Draft. You can play for free or you can go big and put in some cash and win big. It really is a lot of fun and next week there's going to be a big contest happening where you might get a chance to play League of Legends with me. So brush up on your drafting skills, I'll put a link to the website down below. But thank you so much for watching, if you have a cool myth that you want me to cover, especially with Echo, submit it down below, check out my other videos as well, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace.